A Ferrari 500 Superfast is a model that's always interested me. Only 37 examples were ever produced and it's fair to say that due to their rarity, they probably don't generate as much public interest as some of its sister models from the era, such as a 250 short wheel base or a 275 GTB. They cost new twice the price of a Ferrari 275 GTB. And when you consider that a 275 GTB was already an extremely expensive car compared to other cars that were on the road of that era, to think that Ferrari then said to their clientele, well, hey, do you want to buy something else? And this other car is going to cost twice as much money. It's no surprise that when you look at the list of the first owners, it, it reads something like the who's who, not just of the Ferrari world, but of world society. And that's with the likes of Barbara Hutton, the Prince Aga Khan, the Shah of Iran, some very influential and super successful people were the first owners of these you know, fantastic cars. When I purchased the car a couple of years ago, even though it was in very good original order, it's a car that had been refurbished um, in its lifetime and presented quite well, but not exceptional. What we subsequently decided to do was to give the car to Branderley, who we've worked with on many occasions, and decide together the remit was that we wanted to make it the finest restored 500 Superfast on the planet. Roberto was very quick to point out that Pininfarina body cars are much more complicated cars to restore than the Scaglietti body cars, um, but they were very much up for the task, as they always are. And uh, I have to say, the the project, what's how it's turned out, is for me, it, we restore a lot of cars, and we restore a lot of cars by the best restorers in the world uh, and for Ferraris that's normally in the Modena region but I don't think I've ever seen a, um, a 60s GT Ferrari of the same level restoration quality as, as how this car's turned out. This vettura non è mai stata incidentata e a me piace molto questa situazione perché eh, ora si può, si, si può, si può vedere ehm, tutto quello che è stato fatto quando è stata costruita, cioè le saldature, cioè tutte queste parti eh, di saldatura a caldo che riguardano la fase di finitura e ce ne sono veramente tante. Le due, portiere, le due portiere sono state ehm, completamente smontate, cioè è stato tolto 
il rivestimento esterno perché non era, eh, era troppo danneggiato ed è stato ricostruito nuovo. Questa come tante vetture per infarina, la lamiera esterna è saldata all'intelaiatura interna mediante eh, saldatura a, a punti, cioè a puntatrice. Del resto ci, ci siamo limitati a fare delle finiture per riportare in linea ogni minimo particolare conservando tutto ciò che era possibile. A questo punto, dopo aver esaminato, controllato, restaurato ogni centimetro della carrozzeria, di ogni particolare, la vettura è pronta per la fase di verniciatura che richiederà almeno tre mesi di lavoro. Look at that. And what, what I love about the car is, um, now the mechanics has been carried out by uh, Sauro and Sauro were our chosen partners on this restoration. Uh, they were first awarded their Ferrari dealership in 1964. And this is a father and son organization, like a lot of the great companies in this region, where the knowledge, the expertise has been passed from generation to generation and this is a company that when you consider they've had their Ferrari dealership since 1964 they worked on these cars in period they worked on the cars when they were new they were carrying out warranty recalls and warranty repairs on the cars in 66 67 68 so what better company to give this car to today I like is which is what Brandley have managed throughout is that everything is period correct we haven't done any mod cons upgrades for the 21st century this car all of the stickers that is throughout the engine bay everything even the battery everything is as per when it was delivered in 1966 
and uh, the interior was uh, re-trimmed by a company called Maelli. They didn't just re-trim it again in any normal beige leather interior that would match the original colour, but we actually sourced the correct Volmol Connolly beige leather interior and when you look at it it has a different type of grain it has like a, an aged grain from the period not just a modern smooth leather finish um, all the wooden dash has been completely restored all of the dials refurbished and again the, they don't just look pretty but they actually all work When you sit in the interior, there's so many lovely touches of a Superfast that you probably you won't realise until you actually own one and um, you see for yourself. But I love the idea of when you look at the handbrake and uh, that handbrake is actually pulled on, there's a little light at the top of the handbrake um, that again, you don't see on cars from this era. And then one of my favourite touches is down here you have a handle which I'm going to try tomorrow because I'm collecting my wife from the airport and you just pull the handle and the door opens and uh, I think that's a that's a, another lovely little touch that it's a shame Ferrari didn't carry forward on many of their other GT cars that would subsequently follow the Superfast. see lots of great restorations. I go to Pebble Beach and I see so many cars that are restored, I call it Hollywood, and they look fantastic. You want to, you'd be frightened to drive them. You know, you could eat your breakfast, lunch and dinner from them. However, when you do drive them, and trust me, I know this because I sell them, is that when you do jump in and drive those cars, they don't ever quite drive right. They're not quite on the button. And today I've had this car out in the hills of Modena and really driving it and it starts on the button, it drives on the button, it brakes on the button. the finest restored 500 Superfast on the planet. And that's the reason we gave it to Branderley. That's the reason we asked Sauro to do the mechanical work. That's the reason why Maelli done the interior trim. That's the reason why the local Modernese electrician um, rewired the car. And I'm very proud of the work that they've done. I hope they're very proud of themselves because they deserve to be. They've all came together on a great team effort and I truly do believe they have created what is the finest restored Superfast on the planet. <laughs>